there is one change that would fundamentally change the organization and uh, might drive a lot of other reforms before it, and that is uh, to change the way the UN is funded. Right now, uh, the U.S. pays 22 percent of the cost of most U.N. programs, 27 percent of peacekeeping. And that is a formula derived by, uh, by a lot of uh, complex uh, uh, mechanisms, but it ends up that is a mandatory or assessed contribution. The, uh, the international lawyers would tell you we're obligated to pay the 22 percent. We do pay the 22 percent. Every administration I've served in three Republican administrations has dutifully uh, asked Congress for exactly what its assessed contribution was uh, and said it was our obligation to pay it. And, and what this has done over the years, as you would expect, is to create an entitlement mentality. Uh, like any entitlement, people think if we're going to get 22 percent from the U.S., it's fun to spend other people's money. There are no budget constraints that, uh, that really work over time. Literally today, as we're talking here in New York, they're fighting about the U.N.'s budget for the period 2008 and 2009, where the Secretary General has recommended, steady now, a 25 percent increase in the U.N.'s budget. And they will, they will probably get it. Mark Wallace, our ambassador who uh, handles management issues, is fighting almost alone uh, to prevent this increase from going into effect. Uh, he is, uh, as they like to say in diplomatic circles, isolated. Uh, and it's only a matter of time before the State Department gives him the instruction to, to cave in. Now, we'll see what Congress does with that 25 percent increase when it comes up next year. But this is, the, this is a perfect example of how we simply don't have leverage to, to have our point of view heard. We're one vote of 192. Even though we pay 22 percent of the budget, we have one half of one percent of the total votes. So the way to fix this is to move away from assessed contributions and have a system of purely voluntary contributions. The U.S. would decide how much it wants to pay, as it does with some uh, U.N. agencies that are funded voluntarily and that, generally speaking, work better than those that are paid for by mandatory contributions. UNICEF is funded voluntar voluntarily. The World Food Program is funded voluntarily. And it doesn't mean we would pay less. In the case of the World Food Program, we typically give half the food that the WFP has. But we would make a judgment whether the money is being used effectively. We would insist that we're only going to pay for what we want and that we get what we pay for.